Throughout the ages, humanity has left behind an array of puzzling creations, each bearing traces of messages and symbols that continue to baffle researchers and historians. These artifacts hold secrets from ancient civilizations, offering glimpses into their beliefs, cultures, and ways of life. Among these remarkable relics are five unexplained messages etched onto ancient artifacts, igniting curiosity and sparking debate among experts. Join us as we embark on a journey through time to unravel the mysteries behind these cryptic inscriptions and explore the fascinating stories they might tell. From inscrutable symbols to cryptic languages, these enigmatic messages challenge our understanding of the past and beckon us to explore the unknown. The Vulture Stone Gobekli Tape, a captivating archaeological site, contains a remarkable artifact known as the Vulture Stone. Discovered in the 1990s by Klaus Schmidt, this site has revolutionized our comprehension of ancient human capabilities and societies. The Vulture Stone is a massive, roughly 6-meter tall, T-shaped limestone pillar positioned within a circular enclosure. Its meticulous craftsmanship, achieved with rudimentary tools, prompts us to reconsider the abilities of its creators. The stone's importance resides in its carvings, intricate representations of two vultures, and an abstract twisted belt symbol. These carvings imply profound symbolic meanings. Vultures, commonly associated with death and decay, probably held spiritual significance. The serpentine belt potentially symbolizes a connection between the earthly and spiritual realms, shedding light on intricate belief systems. Placed at the heart of communal circular gatherings, the stone likely played a role in rituals. This challenges established notions about early societies, pushing back the timeline of sophisticated human development. The Vulture Stone and Gobekli Tep defy expectations, providing insights into our ancestors' art, spirituality, and society. The Inga Stone In the untamed Sierra de San Francisco Highlands in Bava, California, Mexico, stands the Inca Stone, a fascinating artifact from antiquity. Its discovery, a moment of awe and wonder, came to pass in the annals of history when explorers and researchers uncovered this monumental boulder adorned with a symphony of petroglyphs. These intricate etchings, bearing the fingerprints of ancient indigenous artisans, speak across time, carrying with them tales of a civilization that flourished thousands of years ago. The petroglyphs, a rich tapestry of symbols and forms, weave together concentric circles, enigmatic spirals, engravings of animals, and abstract yet deeply meaningful figures. The methods employed to carve these remarkable designs into the stone surface remain a testament to the resourcefulness of these early craftsmen, who wielded primitive tools with astonishing precision. Yet, the significance of the Inga stone extends beyond mere artistic expression. As researchers meticulously examine its engravings and ponder its placement within the landscape, a tantalizing theory emerges. The stone might have served as a celestial timepiece. The possibility that it was meticulously positioned to align with solstices and equinoxes, effectively tracking the passage of time and the changing seasons, lends it an air of astronomical significance. Could this stone have been an essential component of an ancient agricultural calendar, guiding the rhythm of planting and harvest? The Festus Dis Luis Prenier, an Italian archaeologist, discovered the Festus Dis, a magnificent ancient artifact in 1908, at the Minoan Palace of Festos in southern Crete, Greece. Crafted from fired clay and measuring about 16 centimeters in diameter, the disc is a true enigma, owing to its unusual symbols arranged in a spiral pattern on both sides. The disc contains a total of 241 symbols, which are thought to represent a script or writing system. The symbols themselves are diverse and intricate, ranging from human figures and animals to various objects and abstract shapes. The Minoan civilization, flourishing during the Bronze Age, is often associated with the disc due to its location and style. However, no other examples of this specific script have been found, adding to the challenge of deciphering its meaning. Scholars have proposed various hypotheses over the years, suggesting that the disc could be a religious object, a form of inventory or record keeping a decorative item, or even a board game. Despite extensive efforts by linguists, cryptographers, and archaeologists, the symbols have resisted coherent decipherment. The complexity of the disc's symbols and the lack of a bilingual text or known context make the task even more daunting. 
While some symbols resemble known Minon hieroglyphs, attempts to match them with any known language or script have remained inconclusive. It's worth noting that the Phaestus disc remains the only known artifact of its kind, and no additional context or inscriptions have been discovered that might shed light on its meaning. Rapa Nui Text Easter Island, a distant and uninhabited Pacific island, is home to a script known as the Rapa Nui Text, also known as Rongorongo. It is characterized by intricate symbols and glyphs inscribed on wooden tablets, revealing a sophisticated communication system. The script's discovery in the 19th century sparked intrigue, and efforts to decipher it have persisted, yet no definitive interpretation has emerged due to the limited number of surviving texts, the loss of original context, and the script's complex nature. Scholars like Father Eugene Arod and Barthold Arpentigny attempted early deciferments, but the most extensive study came from Dr. Thomas Barthol, who classified the glyphs into a system of signs and subsigns. However, his work was met with skepticism and criticisms, leaving the script largely indecipherable. Numerous theories have been proposed, ranging from a mnemonic device for memorizing oral traditions to a vestige of proto-writing. The mysteries surrounding Rapa Nui text endure as researchers strive to unravel the secrets embedded within this enigmatic script, shedding light on the history, language, and culture of Easter Island's ancient inhabitants. Grolier Codex One of the few remaining examples of Mesoamerican screenfold books is the Grolier Codex, commonly known as the Sens Codex, a pre-Columbian monographic text. Believed to date back to the late post-classic period, circa 12th-15th century, this codex is named after Jean Grolier de Certiers, a 16th-century bibliophile, due to its previous ownership. The Grolier Codex consists of 10 pages of bark paper that are folded accordion-style, resulting in 20 pages of content. It features a rich array of intricate and vividly colored scenes depicting deities, rituals, and mythological narratives, all of which provide valuable insights into the cosmology, religion, and daily life of the Maya civilization. The Codex holds particular significance due to its potential to shed light on the symbolic and spiritual aspects of Maya culture, which were largely overshadowed by more practical, historical, or dynastic records in other codices. However, its authenticity has been a subject of debate within the scholarly community, with some experts pointing to possible forgeries or reconstructions. Regardless of these debates, the Grolier Codex remains a captivating artifact that contributes to our understanding of the complexities and artistic achievements of the ancient Maya civilization. During our conversation today, we delved into the intriguing realm of ancient enigmas and artifacts. We explored the Vulture Stone, an ancient celestial marker with intricate carvings in Turkey's Bobekli Tep, speculated to hold ritual or astronomical significance. The mysterious symbols on the Inga Stone in Colombia also captured our attention, leaving archaeologists puzzled about their purpose. We discussed the Phaestos Dis, an ancient artifact from Crete, covered in a spiral arrangement of symbols, which has sparked debates about its language and purpose. The undecipherd Rongorongo script on Easter Island's artifacts, known as the Rapa Nui text, was another topic showcasing the allure of forgotten languages. Our conversation was rich in the exploration of these cryptic fragments of history. As we concluded, we were reminded of the enduring human fascination with unlocking the mysteries of the past, piecing together fragments to better understand the narratives of our ancient predecessors. If you found our discussion engaging, feel free to subscribe for more captivating explorations into history and mysteries.